Good morning, I'm Brett Lewis from L4 Group and today we're going to be talking about supplementing your oil heating system with a ductless system to create a more comfortable home environment. Uh, I have with me Steve Ohl, who is the president of RFO, and Steve also happens to be the vice president of the Carbon County Builders Association and an expert in the home energy sector. Uh, good morning, Steve, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So. Um, so fall just hit, and uh, it's actually uh, starting to get a little colder. Uh, I felt it this morning, uh, based on the last couple of days that we've had. Uh, and uh, with the colder weather, that means we're all going to start turning on our heating systems and uh, start thinking about winter. So uh, over the years, I'm sure that you've run across some situations where uh, you have homeowners calling you uh, because they have troublesome spots in their houses. Uh, trying to get that, you know, room or a couple rooms to uh, feel a little more comfortable. Um, what are uh, some of the solutions that homeowners can uh, consider when, when they have that kind of situation? Uh, well, a couple of the options that we get asked a lot about are, um, you know, if they have natural gas, they can put in, you know, a natural gas space heater or fireplace. Um, or if they have propane and you know, we're able to set a propane tank, they'll ask us about a fireplace or a space heater that runs on propane. Um, you know, one of the things that people often don't think about is a, a mini split system or a, uh, you know, a ductless system, which would be uh, the particular brand that we sell is a Mitsubishi ductless. And um, you know, the, the advantages are um, you know, different for depending which uh, unit you're looking at, but uh, a natural gas or a propane fireplace or space heater can some of them run without electricity so you have an advantage there um, the advantages with a Mitsubishi ductless or split system is that um, you know you also have cooling available and um, the heating they're very efficient you could also install a generator uh, you know that would run on propane if you wanted to and or natural gas, and that would uh, you know that would supply your electricity to the home, and then you could have a uh, you know a very comfortable, even heating with uh, like a Mitsubishi ductless system. You can install multiple zones in different rooms, and you know they're very comfortable. Where a space heater that runs on propane or natural gas is confined to one room, and you have to find a way to push the heat out of it. So uh, you know advantages to um, you know the different things. Best to have you know your HVAC company come out and take a look at it. Uh, that's where I always just tell customers to start with. Uh, you know, most companies will offer free estimates. I know at RFO we do. Awesome. And uh, just just to clarify, um, people do not need to have a generator installed in order to have a ductless system working. That's only in the situation where you're talking about if there's a power outage, right? Yeah. If you're concerned um, that you have a lot of power outages now, uh, here of late, the last few years there haven't been as many. Um, you know. So it's, it depends. As storms come through and different things happen, uh, we get a lot of questions on generators. And since we install them, um, you know, customers are usually calling us and asking us the questions. So we know, you know kind of what's on their mind and what they're thinking about. Exactly. As, as uh, Hurricane Joaquin is approaching us uh, right now. So <laughs> I'm sure some people are thinking, man, if we get hit, we don't want to lose power. <laughs> um, so... Um, and, and one of the other aspects, too, is a, a safety consideration, right? Yeah, I mean, the um, as far as a space heater that's burning a fossil fuel like propane or natural gas, uh, you do have to, you know, just be a little cautious of, uh, you know, small children and things that, you know, they wouldn't touch the glass. Um, you know, you can get screens and other things to, you know, keep that from happening. Um, the other thing that people try to do a lot of times is put in those little small electric heaters, uh, which they can, you know, have a couple of them running out of a power strip, which is not good. Uh, even though they're 110 volts, if you put too many, you know, of those on a power strip or you're trying to heat more than that, that they're only good for, you know, a very, very tiny area, like a bathroom or something. And, and you're trying to run it constantly all day, it could overheat you know, all those things play into that with a, you know, a ductless system. Uh, there's really not much to be concerned about. Uh, you know, the only thing you really have to do is do your annual maintenance on it and you know, maybe change the, uh, the filter. And most of them are a cleanable filter you know, to be changed once a month or something, depending 
how you know how much if you have pets or different things like that in the home but uh, yeah they're they're very safe um you know they're always installed by a professional so you know they're they're um, they're inspected and you know everything's gone over once the installation happens so um, uh, no the safety awesome uh, and and can you explain um how a ductless system works just just to give people an idea um you know just just a, a brief overview yeah. um you know a ductless system is um installed inside the home there's a head unit like you could hear this referred to as a head unit or an indoor unit uh you know depending on who you're talking to but if you go into a home and you see a you know two foot uh maybe two foot long um by maybe one foot high uh, hanging on the, the home's you know, interior walls. That's usually a, a, a mini split ductless system. Uh, and then there's also an outdoor unit that is outside the home. And that is what uh, basically is the, called the condensator. And it, it helps remove, uh, you know, the, whether you're running it in heating mode, it's um, basically heating inside the home. And if you're running in cooling mode, it's pulling the, uh, you know, the warm air out of the home. And uh, that's all done through refrigerant lines. And uh, I won't get into the mechanics of how all that works, but uh, it's, it's basically a two inch hole in the, you know, on the side of the home and a line is run outside and, um, you know, it's hooked up and it's, um, you know, it's, there's no venting. Uh, it allows you to zone, you know, if you want to put multiple head units within a home, and like I said, you mentioned earlier, you can do heating and cooling, which is really nice. Um, you know, there's there's just a lot of uh, benefits to going with it. You can have a remote control for it that senses the temperature and tells you, you know, where you set the temperature where you want it. It'll stay that way all the time. So uh, you don't have to worry about using a chimney. You know, just some of the things that you uh, might have to use if you had a fossil fuel sometime. Yeah, that's that's great. I know my parents just had a, uh, a, a ductless system put in with three heads, and uh, you know, I, I I visited them not too long ago, and I can tell you that the thing is quiet. Um, that's that's another uh, thing that people don't really think about. But man, it, it, I didn't even know it was running. Yeah, I've been without uh, window units for so long. I tend to forget until I go to you know somebody's home. And they have the window units running, and the, the first thing they do when you come into the home is shut the unit off or turn it down on low so they can, you know, hear you talk because you can't even watch TV with a lot of the window units running. Uh, yeah, things are awesome. Even the outdoor unit makes next to no noise. If you're outside talking, it's not an issue. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, and I I know when they had their system put in, it was done. I think it was done in a day, or maybe a little bit more. Um, is that typical? Can you talk about you know how hard it is or how easy it is to install these? Yeah, uh, really, most mini split systems can be installed in a day or less. Uh, you know, unless you have you know multiple multiple head units. I mean, we've done you know two and three day jobs also, uh, where maybe a customer had eight or nine head units. Uh, so you know, it just depends on what you have. But like I mentioned, it's a two inch hole in the side of the house. Um, you don't need any duct work. Uh, it's just a matter of running electricity to the unit. Um, outside the home, any wires are uh, covered up in what's called slim duct, they, you know, and that can be matched to the siding of the house or whatever color house you have. Uh, and it's a very nice, uh, neat package when it's all completed. Great, great. And um, so if people are considering having a system installed, are there any incentives or discounts uh, that uh, are offered? Um, yeah, the best thing to do is call your HVAC installation company. I mean, at RFO, we have um, you know many different sources available. There's the manufacturer's rebates, there's utility rebates, there's special financing options. Um, you know, there's also HVAC company incentives uh, you know that are offered. So the, the specials and uh, diff, you know discounts they they change monthly. Uh, you know, it just depends what's coming out. So the best thing to do is, you know, call your HVAC company and ask, you know, what are the current specials? And I'm sure that, uh, you know, they would give you the rundown of what's available. 
Perfect. Um, and, and for viewers that are watching this, if, if they're in northeastern Pennsylvania, um, can you talk about, well, first off, what your service area is if, and, and if they do want to reach out to you, uh, what the best way of contacting you would be? Sure. Um, we cover a 50 mile radius radius of uh, Lehigh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's approximately 212 zip codes, uh, mainly Arvin County, Lehigh County, Northampton County, Schoolfield County, and Monroe County. Uh, we do touch on other counties, so if you're uh, you know, considering having us come out, definitely give us a call and we'll take a look at, uh, you know, we can help you out. We definitely will. Um, we're uh, at our physical address is 400 Interchange Road in Lehigh, PA. Uh, we also have a um, other office in Effort, Pennsylvania. That address is 2625. Route 115, Effort PA. Uh, you can visit us online, um, www.rfohl.com. You can give us a call, 610-377-1098. You can email us, uh, that's info at rfohl.com. If you go on our website, we are active on Facebook and Twitter. You can contact us that way as well. And if you just prefer the old fashioned way of walking up to uh, you know the showroom and giving a look and looking at some of the things that we have to offer, you're more than welcome to walk in and say hi and introduce yourself. Uh, you know, we'll take care of you that way also. So we try to cover all the different forms of communication that people like to use. Uh, if there's a new one out there we're not aware of, please let us know. Yeah, that's that's great. All that, uh, all that contact info is below in the description, below the video. Um, or like you said, go to the website. Everything's on the website as well. Uh, and in your showroom, uh, you have units on displays. So if people really want to see it, you, you know, and understand it a little bit better, they can see it there, right? Yeah, we like, you know, we like the concept of being able to touch and feel things before you buy them. Um, you know, many people do. You're not just ordering out of a catalog. Uh, so yeah, definitely stop on by and you know, see, you know, what you're intending to buy. We can show you, and we actually use them in our uh, offices to. You know, to heat and cool, they're great. Like I mentioned, for zone heating and cooling, you know, we have uh, 12 people in the office. They can each adjust their own uh, temperatures. Some may want it hot, some want it cool, you know, some want it warm. It's all up to them. They, they are in their, you know, control of their comfort. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, Steve. Well, thanks for sharing this information. I'm sure people uh, will will benefit from uh, the info that you shared with us, and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing another one of these uh, in the near future. Thank you, Brett. All right, take care. Bye.